Welcome to my channel. This is Dawn with Pink Chair Gaming and this is day 17 of my 30 day challenge to create a festive island in 30 IRL days using no Nintendo Online. My goals for the island are to have at least two festive builds, have a five star island, and have at least three villagers that fit the island theme. In my previous video, I finished my little coffee shop area that's where my skating rink is and I'm really happy with how that turned out. Today, I'm going to try and make a snow path that I can use in the area that's right above where my marketplace is at. So without further ado, let's get started. There is nothing more deflating than getting a DIY that you absolutely love but know you're not going to be able to use. The bonsai shelf is one of my favorites, but I would have to time travel to two other seasons in order to get all of the items to make it. And let's just face it, we're on a serious time crunch here and it's just not going to be possible. I stopped to chat with Isabel to see where the rating is on the island and we're still at a three star rating, which is good because it means I haven't gone backwards, but it's also bad because I have got to get to work if we're gonna raise the rating of the island. Even though it's going to make me just about broke, I'm going to go ahead and finally pay off this staircase right here because it's a real pain trying to get up to my house, so I'll be really glad to have this one finished. Alright, I got my truck in the mail. Boy, that was a hefty chunk to spend, but anyway, I have my truck and now I'm going to create another custom code from the same website that I did with my siding on my little coffee shop. Um, and I will be sure to put a link in the description below, but I am not going to bore you with doing all of this again. Uh, after I get done with this, I am going to go to the llamas and customize my truck, and I will see you on the other side. While I was out and about, I decided to go ahead and go to Happy Home Paradise and did a house for Ursula, and this one turned out pretty good. We are now back on my island and my truck is now customized with my new cute little code that I made. And I like how this turned out. Um, I do not have any other idea what I'm doing with this other than the truck. So we're gonna come back to this later. It is now time to work on my snow path. Um, I used my dirt path as the base for the pattern and just changed the colors around a little bit. Um, I will admit that it took me a few tries to get the color I was really looking for and instead of copying and pasting the entire dirt path, I did actually create a completely new path for this as I wanted the corners to not be quite as jagged as my dirt path. So let me get these completed and I'll meet you on the other side. Okay, I have the first corner done and I think I've got the colors the way I want them. At this point, I've been playing for quite a while, so I'm gonna go ahead and take a break. And then after I get back, I'll go ahead and time travel to the next day. All right, we are on the next day and I'm at Abel's. And yes, this is a bunny dress, but they are absolutely adorable with the little fluffy trim on it. It just looks festive to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick one up and then figure out what I want to go with it. All right, I went with my little pom-pom boots and my nightcap and this is probably not supposed to be a festive dress, but I love it. Okay, we are back to my snow path. I am not gonna bore you with me making this. Let me just go ahead, see if I can get all the pieces finished and I'll meet you on the other side. All right, my path is complete. I'm real happy with how this has turned out. So now let me go get some items and let's see if we can decorate this area. And I'm gonna start by placing the simple well item over here. I just think that would be cute. Then we're gonna go back over to where um, I'm gonna put a staircase coming up to this area and I'm gonna create some pathing to go over towards the well. 
Then I'm going to plant some holly bushes around it. I am going to go ahead and plant some trees in the front, which is directly behind my marketplace, and this should give a good view from there. Next on the agenda is adding the path to go around the well. Then I went down to my flower collection that's down on the beach and grabbed some red lilies to put in between the holly bushes. And I think this is turning out absolutely adorable. All right, I'm not going to lie. Once I got past this point, I'm really having a little bit of trouble um, figuring out exactly what I want to do to decorate up here. So for now, we're just going to place this little log bench and a barrel over here and not much else. Um, I'm really going to have to put some thought into this so that I can make it look full and cute. Alright, I am struggling a little bit with my path. Um, the corner pieces that I've made where it's coming together with some of the other stuff is making it look real pointy on the ground. So I think I'm going to play with this offline a little bit and then see if I can get it fixed and hopefully I will have a finished product tomorrow. Before calling it quits for the day, I did go to Happy Home Paradise and it was time to do the school, which is good because now I can change the size of my rooms when I'm doing stuff, but it was also bad because this was a big project and I was getting tired and did not put as much into this as I probably could have, but that's okay. It is done and that's one more design out of the way. With that, we are done with day 17 on my island. I am happy with the progress I've made, but also feel like I need to step it up just a little bit with my decorating or we may not be done on time. I am definitely going to work on my snow path a little bit off camera, so if you want to see how that turns out, please be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future content, and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye!